ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਚੀਫ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਰਿਚਰਡ ਵੈਗਨਰ ਨੇ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੀ ਸੁਪਰੀਮ ਕੋਰਟ ਦੇ ਕੰਮ ਬਾਰੇ ਅਪਡੇਟ ਪ੍ਰਦਾਨ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਓਟਾਵਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਕਾਨਫਰੰਸ ਕੀਤੀ ਉਹ ਦੇਸ਼ ਭਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਦਾਲਤੀ ਬੈਕਲੌਗ ਬਾਰੇ ਚਿੰਤਾਵਾਂ ਸਾਂਝੀਆਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਅਤੇ ਕਾਨੂੰਨੀ ਪ੍ਰਣਾਲੀ ਦੇ ਆਧੁਨਿਕੀਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਮੰਗ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਸੁਪਰੀਮ ਕੋਰਟ ਦੀ ਮਾਰਤ ਦੀ ਸੁਰੱਖਿਆ ਗਲਤ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਦਾ ਮੁਕਾਬਲਾ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਜਨਤਕ ਸੰਸਥਾਵਾਂ ਦੁਆਰਾ ਪਾਰਦਰਸ਼ਤਾ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਅਤੇ ਹਾਈ ਕੋਰਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੋ ਪਾਸ਼ੀਵਾਦ ਦੇ ਭਵਿੱਖ ਬਾਰੇ ਵੀ ਚਰਚਾ ਕੀਤੀ This is my fifth annual news conference. I want as many people as possible to understand the role and work of Canada's top court. This is essential in building confidence in our independent and impartial courts. I can tell you the Supreme Court of Canada is proud to take an active role in this respect, particularly in terms of explaining the court's role as guardian of the constitution and of the Canadian charter of rights and freedoms as well as the principle of judicial independence which is essential in a healthy democracy you may be interested to know that the national judicial institute recently wrapped up its project supporting judicial reform in ukraine in partnership with the office of canada's commissioner for judicial affairs working with their Ukrainian counterparts Canadian judges offered one-on-one -on -one mentorship and training on judgment writing gender equality and managing conflicts of interest the NGI also supported initiatives aimed at improving the process for selecting and appointing judges as well as improving judicial education and governance structures when i arrived at the canadian judicial council at its chair in 2017 i reached out to chief and to chief and associate chief justices across canada to hear their views about the future of the organization from there we struck a renewal committee and i'm proud of its progress The council has since published guides for self-represented litigants, developed best practices for judges in case management, and published updated ethical principles for judges. We have also published summaries of all judicial education courses, being accessible and sharing information about how judges continue their professional development is key to upholding confidence in our courts. Safeguarding judicial independence is likewise 